Welcome back and happy Friday. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's talk weather. We're noticing in terms of our weather headlines, we have temperatures expected to actually increase as we look towards our weekend. Today we're still looking a little bit cooler, but as we look towards Saturday and Sunday, we're going to jump up into those 60s for afternoon highs. We do have a slight chance for some rain actually as we wake up tomorrow. We're still expecting overcast skies today, but dry today. And we have some sunshine also on the way. These clouds are going to push on out of the region and of course, a little bit less clouds as we look towards the weekend. We're going to notice this winter weather advisory staying active in Mesa County at least until well tomorrow at 6 a.m. So that has actually been extended and we're noticing also in those higher elevation regions they're continuing to stick around as well. As we look a little bit more southward these uh, watches and advisories might stay active even longer because a lot of this moisture is going to start to shift that way towards that four corners region and give the San Juans, Telluride, Pagosa Springs, some more snow accumulation. But overall here in the valley, that's going to start to move on out. Now our overall setup for today, of course, we're going to see those widespread storms. Now we'll fast forward into those afternoon hours. Like I mentioned, it's going to start to shift a little bit more southerly in terms of at least that snowfall. And then as we kind of wrap up Friday and get into Saturday, we're going to start to see a little bit from this closed low over the southern Great Basin. A lot of this moisture start to push on up through that Four Corners region. So yes, the San Juans are receiving quite a bit more of that snow accumulation double digits again to be seen of additional snow and locally again like I mentioned we might wake up to some rain due to that southerly moisture moving on in. Now our future cast is going to show us a little bit of a closer look on that again Telluride and Ridgeway and Durango, Pagosa Springs even a little bit through the central mountains still receiving that snow at that 10 a.m. hour today but as we kind of fast forward in that 5 p.m. hour we'll get a little bit of a break but then we're fast forwarding again until the time we're waking up tomorrow so yes that rain will fall over Delta yes that rain will fall over Fruta, Loma, Mac, Grand Junction, and even in those desert valleys. Now we'll fast forward and we'll still see kind of those single cell storms through the entire western slope. Montrose, a little bit of some intermittent snowfall, a little bit of a dusting might be seen. And as we kind of get into those middle of the night hours of Sunday as well, some possible moisture could still stick around. However, our temperatures are increasing on Sunday, so that rain might not necessarily reach the ground as we fast forward into the end of those weekend days. Now our snow projections, like I mentioned, we are still seeing just a little bit more hit the ground. So in just a few hours, we are looking at those double digits again, falling through those southern regions, through the San Juans, through Pagosa Springs, Durango as well on those mountaintops. But through the northern and central mountains, the additional snowfall is to a minimum, just single digits to be seen. Telluride looking again on those mountaintops, about a foot, maybe two feet uh, in additional snowfall. So again, we were seeing a lot of those road closures. So still keep in mind, if you have those travel plans, slow down, be cautious of those drivers around you. Don't slam on those brakes, ease off that gas pedal. And Today, we are actually reaching 58 degrees in Grand Junction and 52 as we look towards Montrose. We're typically used to actually, again, those upper 50s. So we're getting very, very close to what we're typically used to. And even as we take a look ahead, we have those warmer temperatures in our books. We'll notice in Discovery Auto Group's seven-day forecast, like I mentioned, 60s are on the way. We're going to start to see mid-60s actually by Tuesday and Wednesday. And even Thursday, there's going to be some more cloud coverage rolling on in some overcast skies. But those warm temperatures are here to stay as we look into the future, even those even evening lows are starting to get above that sub freezing range. Montrose has that same kind of trend, but a few degrees cooler. Again, some moisture as we kind of wake up tomorrow. But overall, we do have some super, super nice weather that is on the way.